Oh, it's a tough, tough semifinal match. Always uh, against Mike Evans of Iowa, He's a tough competitor. Um, you know, fortunate enough to come out with the W. It was a close match. We'll now open it up for questions. Matt, you were in this position two years ago. What do you remember from being in the finals a couple of years ago, um, and how can you use that experience, albeit a loss, that to go into tomorrow's and help prepare for tomorrow's match? You know, um, two years ago was the first time I was here at the NCAA tournament. I wasn't complacent at all, but I was definitely ecstatic just to be in the finals, you know. And the rest of a real tough match. Uh, ended up dropping an overtime, uh, a loss. Um, but I didn't celebrate after my quarters, becoming an All-American because that's not my goal, and I'll have the chance to accomplish that tomorrow. Hey, Matt, Travis Sean, Sunday early times. Uh, I believe we've met. <laughs> have, did you expect Evans to shoot like he did. I mean, he, he hasn't been as aggressive against you like he had there, like he had, like he was there in the past. Yeah, we thought he was actually going to change up the strategy a little bit. Um, and my coaches instructed that really doesn't change my strategy going in. Um, didn't think he would go bottom, which he didn't. And we thought he might shoot more. So uh, we were kind of expecting that. Matt, Jeremy Elliott at PennLive.com. Were you surprised that he chose neutral in the third? Or did you expect him to go down and, and try and escape? I felt comfortable if he did go down, I'd be able to uh, uh, ride tough. Um, so no, I wasn't surprised. Uh, Daniel Spivak, Daily Collision. Uh, so when he went in for those moves and you were able to escape out of them, uh, especially that one late, what kind of things did you see to get out of that that was able, that you were able to fight it off and uh, keep your lead? I just kept wrestling tough. You know, that's one thing I wanted to go in, um, wrestle through every position, and I was able to do that. I didn't get the takedown like I wanted, but I was able to wrestle through every position. The Big Ten Finals, I gave up some scrambles, um, so that was something I was trying to work on consciously. How much confidence did you have after beating Everly? He was a guy, when we talked to you the other day, you said, we'd like to avenge that loss to him earlier in the season. Um, it was a quick relief, but you know, I, I've also dropped matches to, uh, to Iowa, so um, I mean, at 74, there's no, easy, there's no easy match in the finals, or in the NCAA tournament. Scott Schulte, Deseret News, Salt Lake City. Um, we talked last year about your goal to be the first RM to win a national championship. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, the RM acronym stands for Return Missionary, and I was fortunate enough to go serve a mission for my church for two years um, in Mozambique and Angola, Africa, in 2009 to 2011. And um, we've had some awesome return missionary wrestlers, but none of them have uh, won the individual title. And so that's, uh, I remember five years ago when I left my mission, I, I wanted to come back and do this. We talk a little bit more about that and what it does take you out when you have to go away from the sport for two years and try to come back. And also, I do even after your, when Coach Sanderson made the decision to redshirt a couple of key All-Americans, that in a sense, basically, he sort of gave up the run of uh, cha team championships. What did that do to you? Because obviously you respect Cal, but talked about that as well. That's a... Uh... A lot of questions. The first one, um, we never thought we were out of the, out of the team race. Um, I don't think you can after we go seven and zero for the first round. Uh, so we're in it. Um, just a lot of tough competitors. And can you repeat your question? Okay, basically the process of going through the Mormon mission, stepping oh. away from the sport for two years. Yeah, for two years I stayed off the wrestling mat. I preached um, my faith and I, I gave service. And you know, it's something where you you. I woke up every morning and I did P90X. That was the workouts I got. You kind of hit in that when we talked Monday that you said you didn't want, you don't want to do this the rest of your life. Honestly, I think you have plans to go abroad again. Um, is that kind of your plan? And, and do you foresee this being your last wrestling match? Do you got a job for me? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't. No, I, I, when I said I didn't want to do this forever, you know, you only have so many years of eligibility. That's what I was trying to get across. Okay. And I would like to compete for the Ninja Lion Wrestling Club. Um, okay. And then after that, I, I hope to fulfill a different career. Any further questions? All right. Thank you, Matthew, and congratulations.